welcome to marine tech hub today i'll be explaining you about the expansion valve the make is dan force so you can see uh, this bulb will have contain some liquid when the temperature increases the liquid will push the diaphragm in order to open the spring you can see in this picture it is kept like this so we will be using a special tool to adjust the distance of the spring uh, to increase or decrease the uh, tension so you can see in this picture uh, what we are trying to do is you are using a special tool this is a special tool it will be attached to this you can remove this and rotate you can see this one attach the thing so you can rotate this uh, to increase or decrease the spring tension so you can see the distance which is required in the spring tension can be measured by a verney caliper this is y the distance between this is y and in this uh, table you can see uh, when you are using a gas of freon 404a then you can see the range this range is uh, n is equal to you can see it's 27.5 and b is also 27.5 here plus or minus 1 mm uh, where n stands for minus 40 degrees to plus 10 degrees here b stands for minus 60 to minus 25 so this is the arrangement uh, which i was explaining you in one of the uh, video uh, so they wanted to know how to check so each of the manuals we'll have an arrangement so always refer to a manual and check which gas you are using so accordingly you can adjust the distance here so very important thing is the where you have to keep the bulb you can see here the the bulb is mounted here and when the freon passes it measures the temperature and the liquid in this will expand and push the diaphragm to open the valve accordingly so important thing is uh, why we are using this is so that we do not straight away put liquid into the evaporator so expansion valve this is the expansion valve so only the gas will flow into the evaporator so if you have any doubt regarding this you can always message me because some of the subscribers wanted to know uh, this table so i am explaining you about this so if you have any doubt you can always message me thank you